Now, who wants to give a try to that name up there? That's the name of a person. You want to try it? What's that name? You can't read, can you? You can't read, can you? You can't read, can he? Can you? Can you read? You want to give it a try? Havoc? That's close. Habakkuk? 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 Okay. Habakkuk? Who do you think would win? Xavier and 
James. And see, that's how it was. When there was no law, when the law was not being followed, the strong... James, leave me alone. No, we don't, we don't allow that. The strong people would do whatever they wanted, and they would, they would do violence to the to the weak. If if uh, let's say now you're the weak guy and I'm the strong guy because I'm a lot bigger than you, and I wanted your Bible, and you tried to get me to stop from taking it, and I just come over here and I take it from you because you can't stop me. Right? That's your dad's Bible. And here's the thing. If somebody wanted to steal something that you had, and you didn't want them to, and you resisted, they would kill you. Just like Xander said, they would kill you. That's what it means by violence. And that's how it was in Israel. If there was no law, if, if your parents didn't stop your brother, yeah, just go right through there. If your parents didn't stop your brother from beating you up, he'd beat you up all the time, right? Yeah, that's how it is with no law. All right. All right, here, listen up. There's one rule in here. When I'm talking, you're not. Unless you're answering a question, and, or if you got a point in the lesson, if I'm talking, you're not. Okay, because there's been too much talk. You need to sit up, honey. All right, so, so here's Habakkuk. He's a prophet of God. He's a prophet of God. And so he likes what is right. He likes what is lawful. He likes what God likes. And he went to prayer to God, and he said, God, why are so many people evil? God, why don't you do anything about it? There's so much violence here. Um, what, are you going in the back? Oh, never mind. You're good. Why, why is there so much violence? Why are people hurting each other? They don't believe in God. Yeah. And see, but God, he was asking God, why are you allowing it? Don't you think that God could stop it at any time? Don't you think so? And yet God doesn't. You see... What's that? He couldn't though. He couldn't. No, he couldn't stop it himself. You see, Habakkuk was saying, God, you're a holy God. Why aren't you doing anything about all the all the wrong things, all the evil that's going on in the world? Why aren't you doing anything about it? What do you think? Maybe. Would you sit up here? Let me ask you this. Now, you don't have to raise your hands. Just answer that question in your heart. Have you ever done anything bad? You don't have to raise your hand. You don't have to raise your hand. Huh? Of course everybody has. Here's the question. If you had a choice between getting punished for it now or getting a chance to do the right thing and make up for it, what would you rather have? If, okay, if you were caught doing something bad and you got a choice that you can get punished for it now or you get a chance to make it right, to turn around and do things right, what would you rather have? Would you rather get punished now or would you rather, hey, you know what, we're going we're gonna to give you a chance to make things right? I think everybody thinks that way, right? Would, would it, would, raise your hand if you'd rather get punished now. You'd rather get punished now? Yeah. That's not what you said earlier. Well, well, now that I think about it, now I want to. I would rather not get punished at all. Get punished. I would what rather, get, right? Get a chance to do things right. What if you get hurt when you're punished? Hmm? doing something wrong, I would much rather have a chance to make it right. Alright? And see, that's what God does. That is called that's called
called mercy. You see, what Habakkuk didn't realize, or he did, but it was just kind of, you know, God, why aren't you doing anything about it? Well, God is a God of mercy. He gives us a second chance. He gives us a third chance. He gives us a fourth chance. You see, because God knows your heart. He knows whether you're going to turn around or not. He knows in advance whether you really love Him or not. Eventually you run out of chances and then judgment happens. And that's not a good thing. Judah was coming quickly to that point where judgment was about to happen. You see, he gave them chance after chance after chance. Israel had already been judged. Israel blew it. They, they had a chance to turn around. God gave them hundreds of years to turn around. And they failed. They didn't do it. They had about 250 years to turn around. Wow. You know, our country isn't even 250 years old. What? Not yet. It's like, oh, how old? Oh, it's like 245. Hi. It'll be 245 years old next month. Our country. What? That's older than Brother Farr. Really? For those of you know, who know Brother Farr, Lord Larry Farr, he's, he's an elderly gentleman right now. He just had his 85th birthday. I've known, him, I've known him for almost 30 years. He's a wonderful man. He's the king. But here, God knows if we'll turn around or not. Israel would not turn around. Judah still had a chance. But they were quickly rejecting God. And they were bound for trouble. And God showed Habakkuk that an army from Babylon was going to come and was going to take them all captive. Because they were not following God's uh, rules. But here's here's the thing. Chew on this for a while. Babylon was the country that God was going to use to judge Judah. But they were worse than the people of Judah. They were even more wicked than Judah was. Why would God do that? Why would God do that? My answer to you is, I don't know. I really don't know why God does that. But you know, God knows. He is righteous. Do you know what that means, that He's righteous? What does it mean? Huh? What, what does it mean? You forgot. Well, righteous means that you're right. That you're right. You do everything right. That's what it means. Here's the thing. And Habakkuk complained to God. He said, God, why are you using Babylon to judge us? They're worse than we are. They're worse than we are. Think about it. You get caught in school. Maybe you get caught talking in class. And the teacher says, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to pick another student to pick out your punishment. And that student, you know, they cheat on tests. Isn't that, worse? Isn't that worse than talking in class? So the teacher picks a student that you know cheats on tests to punish you for talking. And you go, ah, oh, what's going on? What's up with that teacher? What's up with that teacher? Let her, just let her be. Here's the thing. Listen up, guys. Class, class. Listen up. God knows. You think God didn't know that Babylon was a worse nation? And he told him, Habakkuk, because Habakkuk played God, you're using a, a more wicked nation to judge us. And God says, don't worry. Their judgment is coming. Their judgment is coming. You see, God sees everything. God knows. God knows when it's time. I think it's time. Really? <laughs> listen, listen, guys. Guys, turn around here. Look at me. Look at me. Here's what you need to know. 
God sees everything. God sees when you do things right. God sees when you do things wrong. God is a God of mercy. He wants to hold out mercy to you. He wants to give you a chance to turn things around. But sometimes He's going to use people that are worse than you. Don't worry about it. Their time is coming. God knows. Be patient with God. Okay. Eyes this way. She doesn't need to know. Just keep your eyes this way. All right, we're going to stop here because it is time. Uh, Pastor was very short today. And so. It's Father's Day. celebrate? It's Father's Day. So. I want everybody to bow your heads. I want everybody to bow your heads. Father, we thank you for the lesson today. We thank you for all of your goodness. And now as the children go to their separate homes, I pray that you would be with them, that they would understand that you see everything that's going on. You see the good and the bad. And they need to be patient and wait on you. Help them to see your mercy that you extend, that you're always willing to give them a chance to turn around. And we give you all the praise and glory today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right.